lot to unpack today. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. You look at everyone on the roster. Michael um, and I think Yancy and Phil were the only guys that didn't play today, but uh, everybody contributed, and uh, it was just such a uh, you know we, we had a debut today, and uh, Gavin you know wasn't wasn't as sharpest, um, but kept going out there and trying to compete and give us what he could. I just felt that he petered out a little bit there uh, after the fourth inning, um, but the bullpen was uh, fantastic and having guys go up, down, and uh, take care of their business, their jobs, uh, handing it to the next guy, and offensively, just to kind of chip away and, and stay in a ball game to give us a chance to lay uh, credit to uh, the team offense. And you have a lot of new faces. I mean, how much are you learning as, kind of as we go, especially you completed the comeback in Pittsburgh, completed this one, just about the kind of the makeup of this team? Uh, you know, the, the makeup is really starting to kind of show itself. Um, I really love the... Uh, the culture, the, the guys, and um, you know, as the season started to progress, they're absolutely uh, willing to concede playing time or at bats or innings uh, for their teammates. And this is what sort of manifested today. You know, some guys started the game, some guys came in late. Miguel uh, Rojas making a great play defensively, um, getting a hit, and um, you know, just guys just playing for each other. So that's kind of, for me, it's coming together the way it's supposed to. Coach, um, how good is this Jane Altman? He, he's, uh, he, he's only getting better. And uh, Alvarado is a tough at bat. And uh, to stay in there and, and slap the ball the other way for a double uh, defensively, made a great play out there last night. And uh, he's holding his own in the middle of the order. And first left, first right. And, uh, as he's gathering and uh, gaining experience, um, he's only going to get better. What, what, about does, his, what about his speed? He, he's, uh, he can run. He, he's got the run tool. He can go first third. He can steal a base if he needs to. And he can handle center field. So very dynamic ball player. How, how different does your lineup feel when Max is playing like he has to start the season? Yeah, you, you hate to say that one guy is sort of a, a key figure. Um, but if I had to pick one guy uh, who's going well, guys, Feed off Max what he's doing in the back of the box. It's just, it's just the tr that's just the truth. And um, so for him to scratch out a knock last night didn't look good early today, um, and to find a way to salvage his day to make it a really positive day uh, was big. The way he played, or he's playing right now. The way Freddie and Mookie played this home stand is this kind of what you were hoping to see from the offense. You know what they've done this home stand. No, it is. It is. I, I think that if you look at you know, those three guys, and then now we get Will Smith back, and, and it just adds that consistent at bat. Uh, right hand handedness doesn't affect those guys, and it's, it's taxing. And I thought Aaron Nolan did a nice job of hanging in there. Um, but fortunately, we got him out of the game, and um, we got to a really good bullpen today. But yeah, the lineup one through four, and now you got Vargas doing what he's doing. It's it's as good as uh, we. This is what we sort of go for our, our ball club. Alvarado's been really down in this year. What was really thinking having obviously Rojas and Barnes sort of in those spots? Um, he's been very good. Uh, he, he's punching guys, not walking guys. It's 97 to 100 with Till. Um, it was just you know Miguel. I thought right there taking that at bat, give us a chance to keep the line moving. And then it got to uh, Peralta's spot. Trace has uh, been ill, so he's not been available the last two days. Um, so Austin answered the bell uh, with a big hit. And um, and it was good to see CT come out of his thing with, uh, you know, with Kimbrell and steal a base. And so, again, there's a lot to unpack, but a lot of good stuff. Was Trace here? Or uh, no, he's not. Off the, quill, off the film question for you. It's May. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, it's also AAPI Month. I'll start with, how do you approach dealing with your players when it comes to their mental health? How do you approach dealing with them? And secondly, what is the pride you feel in representing Asian Americans as the manager of the Dodgers? Um, as far as our guys, I, I think that we try to be relentlessly positive. Uh, it's a tough game, um, and so I think that we pour into our guys. So I think that we're very cognizant of what's going on, expectations. Uh, the mental health component. Everyone deals with it differently, but to some degree, 
there's something that you've got to sort of be mindful of. But uh, we're very attuned to that uh, in trying to get you know guys to express their emotions, their feelings, and uh, like I said, I try to be as positive as I can with these guys and appreciate how hard this game is. Uh, as far as AAPI, um, I think that it's a responsibility to, to do the right thing because I'm representing a lot of people. Um, so it's one month, um, but I'm half Japanese, uh, 365. So uh, I feel that responsibility every day. So whether it's Black History Month or AAPI Month, it's kind of a responsibility I take on every day. Did, did, do you feel like you guys needed a just a stretch like this after the first month where you can kind of look more like the team? That you I, I think so, yeah. 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 And, and we expected it to come. You just never know when it's going to happen. I think you just got to sort of bet that uh, the process is right, the players are right, and you just got to keep you know, trying to play good baseball and hopefully you can tally some wins together. Um, I talked about holding serve in April, and I thought we did a good job of that, given all the things that uh, we had to go through as a ball club. And uh, it's good to know that you know, we're playing our, our best baseball up to this point right now. To go back to Stone, it seemed like they took the over kind of off the changeup a lot. What do you think it was that sort of allowed uh, I think the changeup started off the plate to the lefties. Um, and there were some changeups up with a ball out of hand. Um, he was getting behind a lot. Um, made some good pitches, um, but I think that they just sort of saw him. And for me, I just think that it just kind of, you see the 94s early, and then we got to be 90, 91, and not as crisp for me. How much of it was a win in that first inning for him to keep his composure and get out of that? It, it was great, you know, and you know, you as a manager, you watch how guys react to things out of their control, and he handled like a pro, and that's a play that Max will make 99% of the time. Uh, but he didn't come up with it. But uh, Gavin kept us in that ball game with that inning, so uh, that was good to see. And then for Max, do you, do you see this as just him going well, or is this the Max that we are used to seeing the past year? I, I think it's it's a combo. I, I think Max is going well, but I think that his um, his uh, mechanics are right. He's in a good headspace, and I think his valuing of getting a hit when needing to get a hit and, and not just slugging. I think that's embedded in him now. Um, so, you know, he homered his last at bat today, but I think that was the last thing on his mind. He took a nice short swing on a fastball that was 97 miles an hour. So, if he can do that, uh, that should be what we get going for. Hey, uh, Max, I think, said, I think it was either before the season or very early in the season, something along the lines of, you know, that he seemed to be bothered by the fact that people forgot he was a good player and kind of after what he had to put after that last year. Have you seen any change in his demeanor? Or I, I have. I, I, we talked about that a little before the season, um, he and I, and, and it's a chip that I think he should carry with him throughout the season. And so, um, and I expect that, but he, he's been a forgotten man, but uh, you got to let your play do the talking, and that's what he's doing right now.